Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shruti from Informatica GCS and today we are going to discuss about the bulk upload functionality in Exxon. So before proceeding further, let's see the agenda for today's video. So today we will discuss about first the importance of bulk upload in Exxon. Thereafter we will see how to do bulk upload and then how to check the status of any ongoing bulk upload job and in case of any errors how to get those error reports. So let's start with our first topic that is importance of bulk upload. In Exxon we have two ways to create any object either we can create it manually one by one or if we want we can choose this functionality of bulk upload. So suppose you are you want to create hundred or thousands of objects. So if you will go with the first option that is to create it manually one by one, then it will be a tedious task. You have to define so many objects one by one manually and it will take some time and also it can decrease the efficiency. So just to ease out the things here, we have this functionality of bulk upload. So that will not only save our time, but will increase the efficiency also. Now let's see how to do a bulk upload. So this is our Exxon UI. If you want to create any object either manually or through the bulk upload, you have to select this option create. If you want to do it manually one by one, you have to choose your particular object from these options. But if you want to do or if you want to create any object or edit any object via using the functionality of bulk upload, then you have to select this option, upload from file. So let's choose it. It will open the bulk upload window. So here the first option is upload type. And there we are having three values. So depending on what you want to upload, you have to choose one of these categories. If you want to upload basically the objects like glossary, policy, system, then you have to choose this category. Otherwise, if you want to define the relationship between those objects, like relationship between a system with and another system or with a, with a system to a process or similarly, then you have to choose this category relationship. Else, if you want to upload roles, like for the stake, stakeholder roles, then you have to choose this category. So suppose here we want to create glossaries. So for that we have to choose category object. Once we choose the category, then we have to define for which facet I want to create an object. So here I can just type glossary to show me the option. I can choose it from here. Then the second thing is upload option. So depending on the category, whatever you have choose here, you will see the options present here. So for the glossary, either we can create new glossaries or we can update existing glossary. So suppose here we want to create new glossary. So we will select upload new items. Thereafter, this option comes download template. So if you want, you can have your own bulk upload template. There you can just store all the information regarding the objects that you want to create and you can upload that file. Or if you want, you can download the default template for creating the glossaries and you can use that bulk upload template. So suppose here we want to use the default bulk upload template. So we just have to download the template. Let's save it. We will open this Excel file. And one most important thing is if you are choosing the option to define a template by your own, please use it in CSV format only. So this is our download template. So whatever fields here are marked with red like uh, glossary, glossary definition. So all these are mandatory fields. You have to define values for these, these fields, otherwise it will not allow you to do the bulk upload. And whatever fields are marked with black, that are non-mandatory. If you want, you can provide value for these fields. If you want, you can skip. So let's see. We'll define value for each and every mandatory. So this is a drop down value and we can see all the options here. We can choose from any one of that. 
comes to security, then the grocery type. So similarly, we can add further groceries. So suppose we want to create these two groceries. So before proceeding further, once you finish by feeding all the required information regarding all the objects, you can just save your file and then we'll go back to our Exxon UI. So now coming to our third option that is file to upload. So here we just have to choose the file which we want to upload. So our file is this one. Okay, then comes the last option, which is error handling. So suppose if you have submitted a bulk upload job and in case there are any warnings, then you have to choose whether in case of any warning you want to stop or you just want to ignore those warnings and we want to proceed further. So currently this option cancel on warning is checked. That means I have choose that even in case if it throws any warning, just stop the bulk upload process in between. I will first take a overlook. I will see what all, what all things are causing those warnings. If I want to remove, I will remove. If I want to keep, I will keep. Now, suppose I have unselected this option. Then in case if there are any warnings, it will not stop the bulk upload process. It will resume it and it will complete it. So it's depending on your choice. If you will unselect it, then only in case of any errors, it will stop the bulk upload process. Else it will successfully upload the object. So let's say we will choose or we will, we will not choose cancel and warning. Thereafter, we can click on next step map columns. So in this step two, we have to map our fields. Actually, this uh, window is of more importance if we have chosen our own defined template. So suppose I have def I have defined my own file or I have created my own file for bulk uploading the glossary object. So there in my file, in that CSV file, I might have provided some fields with different fields name and in Exxon, the fields name are different. For example, let's say in Exxon, uh, so here we can see column in upload file, that is columns in the file, whatever we have uploaded and the fields which are present in Exxon. So right now we have choose the default bulk upload template. So that's why all the names will be same. But suppose if you have chosen your own defined CSV file, so in that scenario, maybe it is possible that in Exxon, there is a field called glossary name, but in your file, you have just provided it as, as uh, suppose name. So in your file, it is name, but in Exxon, it is glossary name. So we have to map your name field to glossary name. So such kind of mapping information we can provide through this window. So once you are done with the mapping, you can just do next step, start upload. Or in case if you feel like there is something wrong, so you can just go back to the previous step. You can again provide the bulk upload template by just clicking here on start over. So in our case, we want to proceed further. So we will just click on next step. Now, here as you can see, our bulk upload process is going on and it get completed so suppose if the process might have thrown some errors or it got failed then in that scenario you will see a uh, another tab here currently we have only two options here that is a start over and go to my jobs in case if this job might have been failed then you will see another option here to download the error report so we will discuss about this when we will switch to our third topic that is how to track the bulk upload report status or how to track the bulk upload job status and how to download the error report before that we will just discuss about this option start over so once this particular job is being completed thereafter if you want to proceed further to do a next bulk upload job or if you want to do something else you can just click on start over it will again uh, 
uh, shift you back to the first option first step that is the choose file and from there you want if you want you can proceed further for the next upload job now coming to our tracking part so if you want to track any ongoing bulk upload job or any previous upload jobs you can just click on go to my jobs this will open for you all the bulk upload jobs that you have done as this user john Edmo. so here as we can see that it is for the glossary upload and from here we can download the original file whatever you have uploaded in case of errors suppose if there is any error in your bulk upload job you can download the report from that window as well as later on if you will click here you will see a option to download the error report and from there you will get the error report in csv format and just by referring that file you can again edit your original bulk upload file and thereafter you can again bulk upload it successfully so that is how we do the bulk upload in exxon In case of any further queries regarding this topic or in case if you have any suggestions or feedback regarding this video, please contact us. Thank you for watching the video.